Hello students, hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is trigonometry graph. We have lesson 8, selected problems part 5. In this part, we shall look at example 5. Draw the graph of y equal to sine s plus cos s for the interval 0 degrees less than equal to s less than equal to 3, 6, 0 degrees at intervals of 30 degrees. What this means is that in the table of values, the difference between any two points should be 30 degrees. Use your graph to find the A part of the question, values of S correct to the nearest degree for which 2 sin S plus 2 cos S equal to 0 0.5. B part of the question, maximum and minimum values of Y equal to sin s plus cos s c part of the question values of s at which they occur that is the maximum and minimum values when they occur you get the corresponding values of s solution we have table of values for y equal to sin s plus cos s. This is the range of values for s at intervals of 30 degrees. So we have s. The first value for s is 0 degrees. Because the interval is 30 degrees, the next value is 30 degrees. Followed by 6, 0 degrees you have 90 degrees and so on. For us to get Y, we need to evaluate sine for all the values of S, same as their cosine, then you add together. When S is zero degrees, sine S means sine zero degrees, and that is zero. When S is 3, 0 degrees, you look for sine 3, 0 degrees, that is 0 0.5. Let's jump to sine 120 degrees, that is 0 0.9 to one decimal place. Let's jump to sine 240 degrees, you have minus 0 0.9 to 1 VP and so on. Let us consider the cosine for each value of S. When S is 0 degrees, you check cosine 0 degrees and that is 1.0. Let's jump to 9 0 degrees, the cosine is 0. Let's jump to 150 cosine of 150 degrees is minus 0 0.9 let's jump to 270 degrees the cosine is 0 let's jump to 330 degrees the cosine is 0 0.9 and so on to get the values of y you need to add the results in the green rows. So you have 0 plus 1.0, you have 1, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.9, you have 1.4. Same thing you have here. When you add here, you get 1. When you add here, you get 0 0.4. So let's come here and add. This is minus 0 0.5 plus minus 0 0.9 
that becomes minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.9 that is minus 1.4 when you add here you get minus 1 if you add here you get 0 0.1 and when you add the last result you have 1 next thing is to plot these values on the graph sheets next thing we have to plot the graph we start by stating the given scale one centimeter to 30 degrees on the s axis and five centimeters to one unit on the y axis this k implies that 1 cm is 0 0.2 units on y axis then one line is equal to 6 degrees on s axis so if you can see that on the y axis this is 1 cm this is second cm t the fifth one and you give it one unit when you come down and count five squares it becomes minus one for the s axis by the scale this is one cm three zero degrees the next cm six zero degrees and the next one is 90 degrees and so on in order not to have too many close values hence you have the space the values are there so note that so we plot right away when s is zero degrees y is one you plot that point directly on the y axis when s is zero okay we plot for zero the next value is three zero degrees s is 1.4 1.4 so if you follow the scale stated here is 1.4 remember 1 cm is 0 0.2 so if this place is 1 here becomes 1.2 and this is 1.4 the next value of s is 6 0 degrees and y is also 1.4 that is what you have here the next value is 90 degrees at that point y is 1 that is what you have here the next value is 120 degrees that is after 90 and at that point y is 0 0.4 that is here the next value of s is one five zero degrees at that point y is minus zero point four that is this point the next value is one eight zero degrees for s at that point y is minus one that is what you have here the next value for s is 210 degrees at that point y is minus 1.4 that is what you have here the next value is 240 degrees the same minus 1.4 270 degrees is minus 1 we move to 300 degrees minus 0 0.4 we move to 330 degrees that is 330 y is 0 0.4 then 360 degrees 360 y is 1 so all the points have been plotted next thing is to join them together all the points have been joined together next thing is to use the graph to answer question a 
you have to find the values of s to the nearest degree for which this equation is equal to 0 0.5 look at what we have plotted in order to solve that equation using this, this graph you need to adjust the given equation to match the one you have plotted to do that first thing is to factor out 2 since 2 is common you factor out 2 from the left hand side you have it in this form equal to 0 0.2 0 0.5 0 0.5 you have to divide through by 2 for us to get the equation we have plotted on the left hand side if you divide through by 2 you have sin s plus cos s equal to 0 0.25 to 1 dp you have 0 0.3 what it means is that the values of s is when y is equal to 0 0.3 because the left hand side is equal to y so you have y equal to 0 0.3 0 0.3 is in between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 that is where you have that straight line so when you trace it across the curve it touches it at two points one point is here another point is here you trace the two point to the s axis we said earlier that on the s axis one line is six degrees so if this place is 120 you have the first line there that is 126 126 now this place is 330 if you subtract six going backward you have 324 okay yes this is 330 now subtract six you have 324 or from this place where you have 300 you count about four lines that is 24 degrees if you add to it you also have 324 degrees that is a value of s part b of the question is to find the maximum and minimum value this is the maximum value of the curve and this is the minimum value so if you trace to the y axis you have minus 1.4 for the you have 1.4 1.4 for the maximum value and minus 1.4 for the minimum value when y is 1.4 what is s you trace it down to this point and you have 45 degrees that is the corresponding value of s when y is maximum and when y is minimum at this point if you trace to the s axis you have 200 and 25 degrees so when y is maximum at 1.4 the corresponding s value is 45 degrees and when s is minimum at minus 1.4 the corresponding value of y of of s is 225 degrees hello end of lesson 8 thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter Cos. if you are not safe your life is in crisis to avoid that give your life to the one that can save you and that is the lord jesus christ and confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life 
you are safe already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defer others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you good bye